Hey guys, welcome back to the first person, uh, or sorry, not first person, top down shooter tutorial. In this video, we're going to write the script for the camera. So the camera here, we're gonna add a script to it. I've already added that script in. And we can actually make this camera a prefab object. So we can go down here and click on save branch as scene. I'm gonna put it in scene and I'm gonna call it game camera. hit save. I don't want to change the name of it here because um, the player makes reference to that. All right, so go ahead and edit that though. Grab this. And in here, I'm going to delete all this, get rid of that. We're going to have a variable on ready var, var equals player follow equals get parent which will be the level dot get node player. So this is what we wanted to follow. Expected. Oh, whoops, I'm putting in the wrong thing there. We don't need an equal sign there. Okay, and then I'm gonna have another variable here, random jitter. Expected variable of the, well, what is that saying? No, 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 it's gone, it's gone now. Variable random jitter equals zero. So it's gonna make our camera shake a little bit. Um, now the camera shake is going to be a function and I'm gonna call it get camera shake. And we're just gonna put pass in here for now. And there is just the funk process as well. Because the camera is not working with physics, it's going to be process. If it was a physics camera, which would be weird, uh, then I might put it as physics process. Um, the camera shake equals get camera shake. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to return a, um, a vector two with which direction to shake the camera in and then we will apply it to the camera's position. And when it resets, it will reset back to zero and um, follow the player again. So the camera is always gonna be positioned directly above the player, plus or minus a certain jitter value if they're shooting the uh, gun. So we'll go ahead and go variable camera pos equals vector, vector 3.0. And then camera pos dot x equals player follow dot translation dot x plus camera shape dot x. And then camera pos dot z equals player follow dot translation dot z plus camera shake.y. Now you might say, why am I doing shake.y? It's because I'm going to return a vector two from here. Um, and in Godot, if we look at this top down, this is X and this is Z, Y is up. But in 2D, this is X and this is Y. So we just want to use X and Y for the 2D vector that's gonna come back through. And then camera pos.y equals uh, yeah. translation dot y. Now that's going to get the current y position of the camera and just assign it back to it. Um, the reason why is because I've created a new vector three dot zero here. So I don't want to change the camera's y position or it's going to go down to zero. There may be another way. To, there's probably a better way to do this, like get the current position of the camera. But the problem with that is as it starts shaking, um, then, well, it may change. So we don't want to do that. We're going to create a new one. And then set translation, which is going to move the camera. Pops. Now this is it. Now, the camera shake bit will, will work. Okay, so in here, uh, if input dot is mouse button pressed, uh, button left, that will, we could go in and change this later, but if button left is pressed, 
then random jitter plus equals 0 0.5 times delta. And I need to pass delta to this, which means I need to pass delta to this here. Uh, you'll see what happens when I don't do that. I'll do it later. I'll do it in a minute. Um, else, random jitter minus equals 0. Point, so it's going to be 0. 0.05. 0.5 times delta. It's going to slow down a lot quicker than it speeds up. If random jitter is less than zero, random jitter equals zero. And then I will return the vector two, which is made up of rand range for the x negative random, sorry, negative random jitter. That's the minimum to the positive random jitter. That's the x and then rand range, negative random jitter, positive random jitter. And I can get rid of the pass. Now what will happen now, that should be everything. So this here will, uh, add a small amount of shake to the camera, but the longer it's held down, that random jitter keeps increasing. And when it's not held down, it decreases that value. So let's have a look here at what it does. I'm just gonna set this test level to be the one that loads so I can keep, don't have to keep clicking that. When I hold this, the screen starts to shake and eventually gets really shaky. And then when I let go of the mouse button, it slows down. It slows down quite quickly and then goes back up as I hold it down. Now, the longer you hold it down for, the more it's going to shake. And I could even put a maximum on it, but I think it's kind of funny not to. And that will shake the camera, let go, and it slows back down. And always position above the camera, above the player now. So we've actually done that as well. We can go all the way out here. We can go anywhere, and it's really smooth movement. There's not really any acceleration to it. Um, we might fix that up later, but for now, I think that's looking pretty good.